Chao Simi. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle Chao. <laughs> How do you know you're Sharon? Oh, Al? sorry, that's my first NG. We're gonna show you today how to make a very easy yet very delicious and healthy Chinese New Year dish that everyone, even Sharon Ao, can whip up just like that. Really, nigga? So the chicken has already been marinated with soy sauce, Shaoxing Jiu, cornstarch, and of course, premium canola oil from Oki. Don't know how to rear guo. Yes, this is to heat up the guo. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay, now that the pan is hot, we're gonna put in the premium oil. About one tablespoon of premium a premium oil because I'm premium lean. <laughs> No, no, I was about to say, because I seldom cook, but so when I cook, I use very healthy oil. Right. Yes. <laughs> what does healthy oil mean? It means... <laughs> it's with granola. Granola! It's an unbeatable egg, granola! Now... Okay. Okay, so now that... <laughs> Well, no, 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 I'm not scared. I'm just okay, you know, so like now that it's hot, we put in the just chicken. Just a healthy distance between me and the chicken. Don't worry, I can cook one, okay? Ah, you see? Stir fry the chicken <laughs> until it's about 70% cooked. Hey, now you can say things like, smell so good. Oh my god, this chicken smells so good. Yeah, hey, when you want to look at camera, you can look there. Yes, oh my god, <laughs> this chicken smells so good. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> this chicken also <laughs> smells very good. Okay, so now we have some of the remaining oil here, the very healthy oil. So now we're gonna put in the ginger slice. And garlic. Yeah, ginger slices and garlic slices. <clears throat> yeah, you can turn it up now already. Okay, so that it will sizzle. Yeah, and then later on you take over the frying and then I'll take the close-ups with my... Phone. Okay, so now right. you can hear the sizzle and you can smell the ginger. You can put in the dried chilli. Go. Well done, you did it. You I did, did it. it. We use the host show. Singapore's number one TV show called, called <laughs> Star Choice. Okay. So now please mix the sauce. Please mix the sauce. You know, in together. life, in life she's very bossy and in the kitchen she's also very bossy, right? So you wonder why I'm still her friend. Because she has no friends. Okay, now we're going to put the chicken back in. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> and now you will add the cashews. Well done, looks good. And then we add the scallions. Scallion. Wow. <laughs> what do you love most about Chinese New Year? Oh! Um, getting lots of ang pao's and even at your age. Yeah. Oh, I believe it's hundred percent cooked now. Yes. In fact, it's two hundred percent. No lah, it's just <laughs> nice. It's just nice. See, even serving is an art. Place the chicken in the middle of the plate. Yay! Hey, yay! Our first project together. Voila! I can't wait to try this! Kung Pao Chicken! Kung Pao Cheating mm. It's actually really good mm. The chicken is very tender, right? Mm. So this is a good Chinese New Year dish that all of you can make at home mm. okay, And it looks so pretty It only, it only took us about 5 to 8 minutes This year, do you need to wear red? Yes I want to wear Lulu <laughs> but you know, when you put on on the exterior, make sure you wear red interior. But you interior. It is true. But you interior. It is true. So when you don't have exterior nor interior, you wear red lipstick. Now that you have left the station, mm. something that I did like years ago. <laughs> Are you following me in my footsteps? Oh, you left already? Huh? <laughs> it mainly revolves uh, around a new life in a new city. You um, know, I've always wanted to do something. New life in a new city? Is it Sinkang? No, I'm talking about the La Ville de la Lumière. Is there a new condo in town? 
No, it's the City of Lights, Paris, France. Are you really going to move to Paris? I'm going to take up that challenge and just do something radical for the first time in my life. Now I'm in my 40s, I just want to do something more bohemian and see how it, how it feels to live like a starving artist. So are you saying that money is not important and you already have enough savings to live like that? So that's why that's a paradox. Money is very important. That's why you spend most part of your life pursuing it. So yes, the moral of the story is earn a lot of money when you're young, save it so that when you're older, you can do whatever you want. So you have a lot of savings. Uh. Hey, can you invest in my next movie? No. Okay, la, let's eat. Okay, I know you don't have so much money. That's why today I got you a gift. A okay. Chinese New Year gift. Thank you. Da, 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 da. It's 25% lower in saturated fat as compared to regular cooking oils. And it's also trans fat free and naturally cholesterol free. And the moral of the story is when you're dining out, look out for the logo that says we use healthier oil. Well done. Thank you. So this is 25% lower than <laughs> This is... <laughs> no, but the moral of the story is, you know, when you... <laughs> The moral of the story <laughs> when you dine out when I die <laughs> when I when I die out I won't die out when I die out the rest of me will live on <laughs>